Hi, I want to show you how to use your phone as a soundboard so you can play sounds through your phone into Discord or Skype or whatever other program you use. I use Voice Meter Banana to do this and it's kind of a confusing program at first but I'll do my best to explain how to set this up. Download Voice Meter Banana and install it. After you do that, open up your sound settings. Under playback, you want to select voice meter input and set it as default. Then go to the recording tab and select voice meter out B1 and set as default. In the voice meter program, these columns are hardware inputs. What that means is you click right here and you can select a microphone or the line in at the rear of your motherboard, which we'll do on the next one. For this input, I want my microphone. So I select my microphone. I already have it selected, so no, I don't want to remove it. Headset microphone hardware input. Over here is another hardware input that we're going to select the line in. At the rear of your motherboard it's usually blue. It's like a audio jack. That's how we're going to connect our phone to the computer. So you select that. Skip this. We're not going to use this hardware input. Next is the virtual input. This column is all the sound played through your computer. Basically, if you have Spotify open or a web browser and watching YouTube or you have a game, all that sound is going to be in this voice meter input. That's why we selected it as our default uh, playback. And we're going to skip this one for right now because I don't use it. Next is the hardware outputs. These are your physical outputs, like my headset headphones or my speakers, where the sound is going to be physically played. Select A1, and I chose my headphones. I also selected A2 and chose my speakers. You can set that up however you'd like. Now, coming back over here, selecting these will tell you where you want this input to go, what channel you want it to go to. You have physical output channels, one, two, three, and you have virtual outputs, one and two. The physical ones we just talked about, they're up here. A1, A2, A3. The virtual one, B1 and B2, that's different from this because these are inputs, these are outputs. If you want to play, if you want your microphone to work with Discord, send everything from your microphone to B1. Now I'll show you why this works. Down here in Discord, if you go to your settings, voice and video, we have it set the default because that's what we told it to do in our sound settings. Our default voice meter input, default recording voice meter out. That's what's being used in, in Discord. Now in the next column, the next hardware input, you have your phone. You've physically connected your phone to your computer with an audio cable. Uh, to do that with the newer iPhones, you have to use a lightning adapter to an audio cable because they don't have an actual uh, headphone jack. 
If you have a phone with a headphone jack, you just use an audio cable, plug it into your phone, and plug it into the blue port on the back of your computer. Now, whatever we play on our iPhone, like if we just opened up YouTube on the iPhone and started playing YouTube, I have A1 selected. I want to send that to A1, which is my headset. I'll hear it in my headset because that's selected. If I wanted to hear it in my speakers, I could select A2 and it would play also play out my speakers. I also want to send it to B1, my virtual output. That allows it to be sent to Discord because we have it B1. That's our default recording, our virtual output, B1. Now if I come back over to microphone, if I unselect B1, you're not going to hear me. So blah, 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 You couldn't hear me when I turned it off because it wasn't being routed to my default recording device, which is B1. Whatever's sent to B1, that's what you hear. That's what we have selected. I have an app on my iPhone. That's a soundboard app. I open that up on my iPhone and I select to play a sound. What's up, boy? And you can hear it because it's selected to send to B1. We also have it selected to go to our headset so I could hear it in my headset while you could also hear it. Then don't forget about all your other computer sounds you want sent to your headset. You can control the volume, the physical volume going to your headset right here like that, and your speakers if you have that selected over here. You can mute it and do the same thing with your virtual outputs. You control how loud this output will be going into Discord. Or you can do it, you can control them individually over here. Your microphone input, control the volume right here. Your, your iPhone input volume, you can control that right here. Or both at the same time right here. So if I turn this down, 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 up, 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 it should get quiet and loud. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.